Chill, chill, chill. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. All right, guys. So, somebody asked me, Joe, how can I get more money as a developer? I got hired three months ago for $45,000. i am a junior developer, but I've been doing the work that senior developers do. And pretty much I think I should get paid more. I passed my three months probation, so I should be fine. And how do I do this? How do I talk to, to you know, to the company, um, the HR, and, and tell them like, hey, my three months is up. Uh, I would like to get uh, higher pay. Well, I would say, basically, go to HR. Tell them like, hey, my three months are up. You know, in, in most companies. Usually, they give uh, the junior developers either a raise or some type of equity in the company um, because if you're valuable for the company, they, they should take care of you, right? Either they should be giving you benefits, either they should be giving you uh, more vacation time, either they should be giving you more sick days, whatever it is. But you should definitely be getting something more than $45,000, right? Especially after probation. Like, you already passed that, and you're working for a company. And if the company is legit, now, there's a difference. If you're working for a small business, you have to understand you work for a small business. You know, small business, a lot of times, they don't have benefits. They don't have a lot of the things that you will have in a corporate company. But that's when you got to talk to HR or even if there is no HR talk to the owner of the business and tell them hey listen I've been here for a while I've been doing my job I, I come in every day I'm here on time uh, pretty much if I start looking at other companies I'm gonna get paid uh, a higher pay than 45,000 um, you know I love working here but I just want to be able to feed my family. Come up with a story. <laughs> That's why I usually, <laughs> I usually used to tell them that. I didn't even have a family. I'd be like, listen, man, I have to take care of my family. I didn't even have a family back then, right? But just give them, like, you know, a real explanation. Just be like, be honest. Be like, hey, man, like, um, if I go to another company, they're going to pay me more than that. They're going to pay me at least twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 more. Because the job that I'm doing, the, the position that I'm working here, is basically very demanding. And I know if I start looking online, I can find a better and higher pay. But I love working with you guys. So I want to stay here. I'd rather stay here in a place where I'm already comfortable with. And yeah, I just would definitely would like a little higher pay. And then they're going to tell you. What's you know what exactly is the number that you're looking for? Don't say a crazy number like fifty thousand dollars above what you're already getting paid because you're not gonna get paid that. I'm telling you ahead of time you're not gonna get that. But let's say an example you say hey, I want to get sixty five, right? You start at forty five, you've been there for three months, you showed and, and you proved that you can do the job, and you like hey I want to get sixty five. You know, a minimum of sixty thousand. You know, so start with sixty-five, sixty-eight thousand, and then if they be like, "Oh, we can't do it," this and that, just be like, "Listen, the minimum that I think is is accurate for somebody with my skills is sixty thousand." And don't feel bad. Don't feel bad if if they just you know they come to you and they be like, "Oh, I don't know if we could afford that right now." Just be like. Be prepared to at the same time. <laughs> like if you go and ask for that raise, be prepared to think like, hey, if they don't give it to me at some point, I'm gonna leave out of here in the next month or two. Don't stay there because if you already asked for a raise and they're not giving it to you, they're never gonna give it to you. Right? 
is people know that it, it takes a lot for a person to go and ask for something, especially for a race. So if they don't give it to you at that moment, or they come up with a plan and say, hey, if you stay here by the sixth month, we, we're going to bring it up. If they do something like that, then you stay. If not, they're never going to give you that raise. So that's all I want to tell you guys. Like, you know, just be honest. You know, sometimes if you have to lie, sometimes you got to lie, you know. Like I used to do that my, my junior year when I was like a freshman in, in this web development. I was like, yo, listen, I got a kid. Uh, I can't, I can't stay, I don't know if I can stay here, um, you know, my kid uh, expenses are, are getting a little bit too much, and I know that I can get a better job, well, not a better job, uh, a better pay somewhere else, so that's what I would tell them, right, and then they'll be like, okay, yeah, cool, we'll, we'll give you the raise, you know, because you're valuable, you're, you're doing a job, and you're doing a, a very important job in the company, so you should get paid accordingly, you know, because the owner doesn't get no pay cuts. The A uh, couple of managers there don't get no pay cuts. So why is you, you know, working there full time, busting your ass, not on Facebook, <laughs> like a lot of people that be in offices, that be on Facebook or YouTube, and, and they're like not doing shit. But you, because you're the developer, you're expected to be coding 24-7 the whole time that you're there. So if they're expecting that out of you, then you should get paid to accordingly to whatever you're doing, you know. So, to a very good price, a good salary, something that you could say, I'm comfortable, I'm happy at this moment with this salary. All right, so that's my advice to you. And yeah, man, I'll see you guys around. You already know, it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com, your boy is back, and I done did it again. Dogs. Listen, it's a whole new world right here, man. When you click show more, you're going to see everything. All right? You got 50% off to my website, codingphase.com, automatically because it came from YouTube. That's the coupon code, kids. All right? And then from there, you got um, our sponsor links, of course. But it's crazy because I'm sponsored by them now, udemy.com. But it's crazy because they taught me how to become a developer when I was doing this by myself. And I'm proud to say that. I'm proud to say, hey, I'm actually a developer who's successful, and I'm doing my thing thanks to you to me. Okay, guys, check those links out. Best instructors in the world, they're right there. Trust me, guys. Believe in me. All right? And then from there, you got the Discord, which is basically a chat room. It's a, a way to communicate with each other. Like, you know, all my friends are in there. You got your boy, Matt. You got your girl, Barbara. You got a couple of people in there. You know, we got Cam, we got the whole squad is in there, guys. Listen, check it out, man. Put in some time. Just click on that link, show more, and you will see all the most valuable links. All right, guys? Fun don't stop here, man. The fun don't stop just on this video. There's a whole community to this. CodingPhase.com. I'll see you guys later. Bye.